My name is Caroline Ward. I'm a consultant with Collins McNicholas Recruitment and HR Services Group. One of the most common interview questions and definitely the most dreaded of interview questions is what's your greatest weakness? This is an opportunity for you to deal with something that you've seen as a development issue, but you also need to be able to say how you manage it, how you fixed it, or how you propose to go about managing this into the future. Take for example somebody who would say time management is their weakness. To say that time management is a weakness alone isn't a very positive reflection on you. So you do need to embellish it, you do need to speak about how you would go about managing that. A lot of people would speak about how they have lists or they have a calendar that they work from all of the time in order to manage that weakness or development area. Try to end on as positive a note as possible. There is absolutely nothing wrong with having a weakness. Probably one of the worst things that you could say is that you don't have a weakness because it indicates that you don't have that level of self-awareness that you've identified something that you could improve on, which is important in itself. Competency-based interviews are probably the most common type of interview nowadays, particularly with the multinationals and more modern companies. You need to prepare very well for these types of interviews. It's really about getting examples from you. So rather than you saying, I'm an excellent team worker, I'm really good in teams, it's about, tell me about a time when you worked as part of a team and giving a specific example. In dealing with these types of questions, it's important that you give a fully rounded answer. So we would describe this as the STAR technique. There's a lot of material out there on this technique if you want to have a search for it, but in its most basic elements, it's situation, task, action, and result. What was the situation you were in? I was working on a team in college. We were doing a project and that was due at very short notice. The task there is your project, how you went about that, the actions that you took. So we all worked together as a team. I was the leader in that particular team. I made sure that everybody was included, etc., etc. And the results, we got the project in on time and it was very successful. So you can see at a very basic level how you can move through your examples like that. Some examples of competency-based questions, they'll often start with, tell me about a time when, um, when you worked with a difficult customer, when you solved a very difficult problem, when you had to communicate some news, a message, when you had to do a presentation. Questions like that, example oriented. Make sure that you're getting the information in there. If there are any details that you can provide, that will make it more interesting, more easy for somebody to listen to you, but also it will mean that it's more realistic, that an interviewer can get a real feel for who you are. So there are, we would say, 10 key places to find jobs, as many as 10. So if when you're thinking about how to go about looking for a job, you're just listing off things like advertisements, notice boards, job boards on the internet, then you're not really cracking the job market. So many jobs nowadays just aren't advertised for whatever reason. You need to think about the companies that you're interested in and apply to them directly. A lot of companies nowadays will have invested a lot of time and money in their own websites. So they'll often have a drop box there for you to add a CV. Have a look for the companies in your region that you're most interested in and approach them directly either in that way or over the phone. Have a think about people that you know, that you play football with, that you meet every day of the week. It doesn't mean that you have to walk up to somebody and ask them if they have a job for you. It just means that you should mention to them that you're actively looking for a job at the moment if they had anything that they knew that you might be interested in. It's about getting your message out there and making sure that people know you're looking for a job. Things like job bridge or volunteering generally are a very good way to get your foot in the door of a company and a good way to get experience 
to put on your CV that's very recent and hopefully very relevant. And it will also mean that you have examples to speak about at interview from a very recent role. You can also look at different um, careers fairs, locally or nationally, maybe IT focused in particular. You'll often find that a lot of the bigger companies will be there and will be trying to sell their companies to you. You should bring your CV with you and have your elevator pitch prepared. That's a 30 second rundown on yourself, who you are, your key skills, and why you'd like to work for the company. The IT market is actually doing really well at the moment. Um, I think all the messages have been very, very positive. Um, I would work very closely with an IT recruiter um, in our Midlands office, for example. And she is very busy all of the time. There are lots of jobs out there and possibly our difficulty at the moment is finding candidates who are suitable for those jobs. Graduates wise, lots of jobs there. The salary level is probably about the same as it was um, and you're still expected to have a high level of communication skills and to be well presented and flexible and really get stuck into a job. But probably more than ever, your career will accelerate quite quickly um, if you do show promise. There's lots of opportunity there, lots of new and exciting technologies coming into the country and um, lots of people who are willing to invest in their people, train you up and um, make sure that you can be a very strong part of their team going forward. There's a lot of competition out there for companies for good strong talent and um, so you find that there's more supports provided there quite a lot of the time as well. which. If you're somebody who are, who's interested in personal development, is excellent news.